Good morning, third grade boys and girls. Today we're going to read more sideways stories from Wayside School, Chapter 4, and our girl is called Shetty. Shetty. Shetty had long eyelashes. She weighed only 49 pounds. She always wore a big red and blue overcoat with a hood. The overcoat weighed 35 pounds. <laughs> the red part weighed 15 pounds. The blue part weighed 15 pounds, and the hood weighed 5 pounds. Her eyelashes weighed a pound and a half. She sat next to the window in Miss Jewel's class. She spent a lot of time just staring out the window. Mrs. Jules didn't mind. Mrs. Jules said that a lot of people learn best when they stare out a window. Cherie often fell asleep in class. <laughs> Mrs. Jules didn't mind that either. She said that a lot of people do their best learning when they are asleep. Hmm, I don't think so. <laughs> Cherie spent all of her time either looking out the window or sleeping. Mrs. Jules thought she was the best student in the class. <laughs> One afternoon, it was very hot. All the windows were open, yet Cherie still wore her red and blue overcoat. The heat made her very tired. Mrs. Jules was teaching arithmetic. Sherry pulled the hood up over her face, buried herself in her coat, and went to sleep. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Jules said, Kathy, Shetty is asleep. That's good, said Mrs. Jules. She must be learning something. Mrs. Jules continued with the lesson. Shetty began to snore. <sighs> Mrs. Jules Shetty is snoring, said Kathy. Yes, I can hear her, said Mrs. Jules. She must be learning an awful lot today. I wish the rest of you could be just like her. <laughs> Shetty began to toss and turn. She flopped over on top of her desk, then she rolled over on top of Kathy's desk, then she rolled back the other way. Kathy screamed. Ah! Shetty rolled over out the window. She was still sound asleep. As you know, Mrs. Jules' class was on the 13th story of Wayside School. <gasps> no, so Shetty had a long way to go. After she had fallen 10 stories, Shetty woke up. She looked around. She was confused. She wasn't in Mrs. Jules' class, and she wasn't at home in bed. Hmm, <clears throat> she couldn't figure out where she was. She yawned. <laughs> pulled the hood back over her eyes, and went back to sleep. By that time, she had fallen another ten stories. Oh, wait a minute. She's not on the 13th. Oh, I misread a word. She was on the 30th floor. Oh, my goodness. Well, that makes a difference, doesn't it? Wow. Okay, let's keep reading. So now she fell another ten, so she's like on the, tw on the 20th floor. By that time, yeah, she had fallen, so now she's at the 20th floor. Uh-oh, 10 more to go. Wayside School had an exceptionally large playground. Lewis, the yard teacher, was way over on the other side of it when, it, when he happened to see Shetty fall out of the window. He ducked under the volleyball net, hurtled past the kickball field, hopped onto the hop shots court, climbed through the monkey bars, sped through the grass, and caught Shetty just before she hit the ground. Whew! The people in Mrs. Jewel's class cheered. Yay! Shetty woke up in Lewis's arm. Darn it, Lewis, she said. What did you go and wake me up for? I'm sorry, Shetty, said Lewis. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Sherry repeated. Is that all you can say? I was having a wonderful dream until you woke me up. <laughs> You're always bothering me, Lewis. I can't stand it. She laughed. Ha ha ha. And she hugged him around the neck. Lewis carried her back up 30 flights of stairs to Mrs. Jules' room. That evening when Shetty went to bed, she was unable to fall asleep. She just wasn't tired. <laughs> I wonder why not, huh? She has slept in school. Don't, don't sleep in school. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.